Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about water methanol injection and how you can use it to increase power alongside tuning. And so a lot of times water methanol injection is used with turbocharged engines and I'll get into why that is but first let's just kind of talk about the setup. So here we have our engine. We've got our air intake here. So we've got the air coming in through the inlet, through the turbocharger, through an intercooler, through the throttle body and then into the engine as it passes out of the engine, out of the exhaust portion of the exhaust and then out the muffler, you know, eventually. And so here on the side, what we've added to this system is this water methanol uh, mixture. And so we have this tank here with a 50-50 solution. And so that's gonna be sprayed in uh, just before the throttle body. You don't wanna be typically spraying it before the intercooler because you could condense that vapor uh, in there and then you're gonna have water, you know, passing through. So you want a fine mist of this water and methanol and that the idea is that it'll you know kind of essentially evaporate and vaporize into this system before it goes into the engine. So let's talk about the process uh, that's involved. So first we have our air traveling through the turbocharger and the intercooler. So our air comes in, travels through the intercooler and then gets to right here. Next we inject our 50-50 water methanol injection uh, into this mix. And so as that's injected in, it's going to evaporate with it. So the mixture changes state from a liquid to a gas. And this requires a lot of energy to do this in order to change from a liquid to a gas. And so in doing that, it absorbs a lot of the heat of the air. You can think of it very similar to, this is why humans sweat. We sweat, we get water on our skin, that water evaporates and then it cools our skin. Same thing's happening in here. You're as that air changes, or as that vapor rather changes state, uh, to a water vapor versus a liquid water, it's gonna pull out energy and cool that air. So then your air is passing in, you're gonna have your fuel injected at some point. Uh, and so by having colder air, which is more dense, you can pack in more of it, uh, so you can burn more fuel, create more power. That's the idea with the uh, vaporizing part of the equation. Now, colder air is also less likely to pre-detonate, uh, and methanol in this mixture also raises the octane level of the mixture that you have in there. And so having a higher octane level means you're less likely to have knock. And so finally, what it comes down to is by having higher octane and lower temperatures, so you've got more fuel, more uh, power uh, and higher octane fuel, you can advance the timing more. And by advancing the timing more, you can create more power or you could also use a higher compression ratio or use this in a situation where you have a very high compression ratio on an engine. It doesn't necessarily have to be turbocharged, but in pretty much most cases, that's how you're gonna find it. Now, if you don't quite understand how that advanced timing works and you know the octane rating, some of those things, I have a bunch of links uh, and videos which you can check out in the video description explaining how those work. Uh, but essentially, you know what you're doing is you're decreasing the temperature of the mixture, you're increasing the octane level, and in doing so, you can advance the timing, use higher compression ratios, and create more power. And so why is water used in the mixture? Well, water requires a lot of energy to change states. And so that's why you use it, uh, because if you spray it in a very fine mist and you can get it to evaporate, you can take out a significant amount of energy and cool that quite a bit. Uh, why methanol? Well, methanol is combustible. You have to take into consideration, if you're just dumping water in, you can't use that water for combustion. So that's taking up space that could otherwise be used for other things like air and fuel. And so uh, by putting in methanol, this is combustible, it aids in uh, providing power, and it also raises the octane level of the mixture uh, so you can advance the timing, use higher compression ratios, things like that. So one example uh, of real world of this being used in a production vehicle, uh, I don't think there's any today that do this, uh, but a 1962 Oldsmobile F85 Jetfire used this. It had a turbocharged V8 engine with a pretty high, I mean 10.25 to one compression ratio is still pretty high, uh, even by today's standards for turbocharged engines. You know, some are definitely higher, uh, but like my Subaru, for example, I believe is at 8.2 to one, that's a turbocharged engine. And I think this was actually putting out more torque uh, than my current Subaru engine. And anyways, they called the liquid turbo rocket fluid, was a, which is a great uh, marketing spin on it uh, as, as far as water methanol injection. Uh, but that's how the system works. Uh, and if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.